born supermodel turned author. She found her way from single mother to breaking down barriers. Here to share her extraordinary story and the publication of her book, A Woman Makes a Plan. Advice for a lifetime of adventure, beauty, and success. Please welcome the lovely Mae Moss. <laughs> Canadian born, and you know, we, yes. we like to claim our yes. people. From Regina, you can become more Woo! Canadian than that. Canadian born, raised in South Africa, you've yes. been modeling for five decades, yes. which is, it, that is something a lot of people cannot say out there. That's modeling through so many different sort of eras in the industry, and the modeling industry has changed so much. Yes, well, as I got older, they wanted older models. And Amazing. I was the only one. Yes. <laughs> you were still modeling. Yeah. yeah. So does that shock you a little bit? And I was always surprised, but it, you know, I just let it go with the flow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want me to be mother of the bride at 28? All well, right. <laughs> Everybody else was 18. Right. <laughs> and, yeah. And then at 42, I did my first grandmother ad. Wow. And that, I was the oldest model in Toronto. Amazing. And, um, and uh, now I'm a young 71. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, in this book, um, you talk a lot about your life and struggles, and that's including getting out of an abusive marriage yes. um, and being a single mom with three kids and having two jobs to support your family. So can you tell us a little bit about that time in your life? Yes. Well, I wanted the book to be inspirational and like, really happy stories, the adventures, you know, and the success stories. Yeah. And then Elon, Kimball and Tosca, my three kids, yeah. they said to me, you've got to talk about your struggles. Because, of course, they went through that with me. Yeah. And uh, so I said, oh, okay. Then So then I did, you dictate it and then it gets transcribed. And then I gave it to the editor um, at Penguin and uh, they said, um, no, it has to stay in. And I said, no, it has to go out. Yeah. Um, and they said, no, there's too many women going through the same abusive marriages or relationships. And so I put, kept it in. And the, the, the messages I get is, thank you. We know that we can survive and we can get into a better place. So, I mean, it really has affected women a lot. I agree. Yeah. I mean, I agree with your editor. Keep it in Please. because we need to see that people at the top of their game that are, that are thriving yes. have struggled and, and got through it. Yes, yes. Would you say there was like, what was it that helped you to make that turning point from being in that marriage to getting out on your own? Well, you know, you stay married for the sake of the kids mm -hmm. and then you get divorced for the sake of the kids. Right. I uh, ran away with the three kids. It does mean that you may get no maintenance. You might have to cover their school school fees, but then if they go to public schools, it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, you feed them peanut butter sandwiches for dinner, mm -hmm. but you come to a happy home, <laughs> you know? Right. And, uh, and that was more important. It is more important. Yes. Can we talk about your kitties? Yeah, I've got three fabulous kids. <laughs> okay, so, um, well, most of us know one of them, Elon Musk, yes. right, who's doing quite well. You're all thriving um, and doing incredible. Uh, you've got Tosca, who's a filmmaker, Kimball, uh, a res restaurateur. Yes. And philanthropist. Yes, he has the vegetable gardens in underserved schools. He's, he's already built 650 in uh, America. Yeah. And uh, it's so, so great to see those kids planting their own seeds and then watering them and then pulling a vegetable out of dirt. It's amazing. They, they, and they love it. And yeah. they've never seen where vegetables come from and they seldom eat them. And yeah. then they taught how to prepare them and eat them. Do you have advice for single moms out there? I think that single moms are some of the strongest people in society. They're yeah. holding things down yes. on their own yes. and they're, they're working for the children. Right. Do you have some advice for how to keep it together? Yes, um, be happy with your children. The children do come first and you d need to work really hard to be able to support them. Yeah. And that's just a teach, teach your children to be independent and responsible for their own uh, decisions that they make and to behave well and help you in the home, you know, yeah. with cleaning up and cooking. Actually, Kimball, that's why Kimball became a chef. I'm not a great cook. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, my, my whole thing with the kids is they learn the chores I hate the first. Like, they learn those first. So they can do laundry, because I can't stand doing laundry. So it's great, because they're going to be independent, right? My, yeah. My kids still tell me how I, how I um, managed to get them to, to um, 
do my laundry. They did yeah. my laundry because they loved ironing. And oh. I told them, ironing is special, but you can't do it unless you do the laundry. <laughs> so they would fight to do the laundry. <laughs> That is called that is called a mom win. Um, since we're talking about kids, um, one thing that I know I'm very protective of is my family. Like you just you can't say anything about my family oh, yes, or yes, my close yes, friends. Yes. Do you have like a visceral reaction when people say things about Elon? Um, well, I actually it's not visceral. It's now on Twitter. If you okay. say mean things, okay. I, I, for the first ten years, Kimball and Tosca said you can't fight the press. Yeah. And I said, okay, I won't, I won't. And then you have to, but you're angry. I yeah. Mean, you really get angry. And so then I thought, I'm done with this. I'm not sleeping. I started calling out the journalist, calling yes. out the, the, the press, and I started saying, hashtag clean energy will win. Good. You know, and you can't, you can't uh, just because um, the fossil fuel industry are paying you so much money for ads, yeah. you can't in, you know, stop the clean energy movement. Yeah, well, yeah, good for I you. I mean, mama man. bear, right? Like, it comes uh, out. You got to do your th tweet. Yeah. I've always you go been a mama tweet. bear, but this time yeah. I did it in public, yes. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. <laughs> I want to talk to you. I want to spend a little bit of time anyways talking about aging because it is a big deal in our society, this whole it idea. It be. I know. It should be. It's a very big deal but in you know? North America, and it's like everything to either stop it from happening or to see it as a negative or... How do we get some tips for how to do it right and how to do it gracefully and how to embrace it? All right, first of all, do men fear aging? Probably not as much as no, we do. No, So mm -hmm. why are we feeling aging? Is somebody telling us we're mm -hmm. getting older? Then if they are, you just move on. You just leave them alone and let them, let them uh, wallow in their misery. <laughs> and, then, and you just keep going. And then my mom never complained about aging, and she said her 90s were her best years. Oh, I love so, that. Uh, but I never heard her say anything about, I've got a wrinkle, I've got a wrinkle. We have wrinkles. If you, actually, if you have bad lighting in your, in your bathroom, you don't have any wrinkles. <laughs> I, I just go. don't see them. That's yeah, right. Yeah, They're don't gone. put my glasses on, because yeah. I can't when I do my makeup. Beautiful yeah. soft focus filter, yeah. it's natural. Oh, I'm sure this lighting's beautiful too, and I don't <laughs> have a wrinkle. You look gorgeous to me. <laughs> yeah, you look gorgeous. Yeah.